Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Uh, my name is Spade, and today we're using this team that I uh, built a little while ago. I just replaced the Weezing with a Goldengo because I thought, yeah, that's the ultimate hazard uh, stopping Pokemon because you cannot defog it, you cannot wrap its spin on it while it's a ghost type. So, yeah. Um, we got some opposing hazards though, with Quillfish and. No, it's over Quill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the evolution of the Hisuian Quillfish. And then there's even Fortress. So how do I want to deal with this? Do I just want to compete with the hazards and... Uh, go from there? Um, I have Mana Fee. That could be fun. I think I'll still lead with the Garchomp. I think this is going to be... a. Uh, Hazard war for sure So Go for the uh, stealth rock on the first turn and we'll go from there. I Think there's going to be some hazards for sure Kilovatrol What do you do? Just hurricane is that even going to do much? Eh, okay with life orb. Yeah, Wow, 50%. Mmm, 47. I mean, I do have do have a Diblin here. Might as well go into it. Garchomp can still be useful later on. I might be able to take a Grassy Glide, but still. Um, just Dragon Tail and see what's going on. I don't think he's going to be staying in here. Probably wants to go into something like Fortress or the Overquill. There we go. So that thing could have Swift Swim. So gotta watch out for that. Hmm. And how fast am I? Goldango is faster. I'll go into Goldango on the uh, Hurricane. Don't get confused, thankfully. And then... I think I just have to... Shadow Ball here, knock him out. He can go into, like, Overkill, probably. If he wants to. And I do have Garchomp as an option, kinda. It goes into Barraskewda. I mean, I'm Grass Dragon. Close combat is other coverage. Does it get Ice Fang? I don't think so. Yeah, smart move goes for the flip turn. Now, would I want to Terrestrialize? Probably not, because he has a Rillaboom. Hmm. I could go into Zamazenta here. As rain is about to wear off. Or I could just go into Garchomp to take some rough skin damage and live a gunk shot. There we go. But it does not obviously make contact. Uh, but these hazards are definitely being useful here, the stealth rock that is. Uh, so let's uh, stack them up. Go for a little Spike Rooney here. And if he wants the U-turn, he's gonna go down, so I'm gonna go for a spike here. And then I can go into into my uh, Goldengo on the Rapid Spin. I wonder if he has Earthquake. Nope, go straight for the Volt Switch, but the hazards are here to stay, so... I can take these Volt Switches all day long, so... As long as I get to keep my hazards on the field, I am happy, so... Goes into Barraskewda, and if he wants to flip turn, like, yeah, the hazards are going to start stacking up, so... He's doing nothing to the uh, Diblin, yeah. Psychic Fangs is the worst thing he can do, so... Actually, let's uh, let's just uh, go for the Dragon Tail, since I'm relatively healthy here. Ooh, nice, nice. Dragon Tail does land. He's got Rocky Helmet, though. Okay. Well, this is perfect, because I can... Recover here. There's no way he can knock me out. Um, I'll get my uh, Diplin relatively healthy here. 
Um, Dragon Daylight Dale did five percent. I wonder if uh, there's sixteen. Am I faster? I'm just wondering. I don't want to risk it. Like in a situation like this, like I'm just gonna go into Goldengo here. Yeah, and now he's practically yeah. There's no way out. That's his rapid spinner, and whenever he switches out, he's gone. Unless he has a defog on the Pelipper. But even so, like, yeah. Now he's low enough where I, I can do just a massive damage here. Um, I think I want to go into Garchomp. He's gonna go for a water type move, so he's gonna go down to rough skin. Yeah. Liquidation, there's there we go, rough skin, rocky helmet, knock him out. And then Diblin just walls everything. Absolutely perfect. I love the addition of Goldengo to this team. Works so well. And now I can just uh What do I wanna do? Dragon Tail? Because of the knockoff. That does not work with the sticky hold. I miss. Okay. Well, that's fine. But, uh, yeah. There's nothing he can do in this situation since I can recover and uh, Dragon Tail and everything. So there we go. That's a nice start for today. And... Hmm. Something I d didn't think of. Like, last time I had Weezing so I could stop the hazards from... Um, Glimora and uh, now I don't have my wheezing, so I cannot absorb toxic spikes. So I think what I'll do is uh, try and lead with the uh, Manaphy instead. Glimora is something like 85 base speed, I want to say, or 80. But he leads with the Ogre Pawn, expecting I don't know what. Hmm. I go into Diblin as he probably Swords Dances, and that's gonna be bad. Goes for the Power Whip. Okay. And then... I don't know if he's gonna wanna stay in here. What would he go into? Hmm. I could just Draco Meteor. That's Draco. As he goes into Glamora. That's gonna break a Focus Dash. There we go. Minus two, I think I can still knock him out. No, I cannot. I cannot knock him out. I'm so sad. But he only gets up a little spike there. And Draco Meteor is more accurate than Syrup Bomb, so... <laughs> I do want to do what I just did. Um, it's a speed boost. Hmm. Diplin, Diplin, Diplin. Garchomp does match up pretty well against the Iron Moth. So let's just Earthquake here. He has Dazzling Gleam on it. Do I want to terrestrialize here? I mean, he should just substitute again just to scout. Because then he could just... What do I do? Against a beast like this. This Iron Moth is really bad. I might just EQ. Okay, I, I could have gone for the Terra. But I didn't dare. Because I thought he would just sop again, scout. And then I would waste my Terra. But like, do I have anything else to really Terra here? Hmm. Dazzling Gleam. Fire Terra the Zamazenta. To crunch for not even to KO. Manaphy Skulls. 
<laughs> feel like Manaphy is my best option here. Um, just gonna scald here. I can take a Sludge Wave. Fiery Dance should be his last move, I think. It goes into Ogrepon. Smart move. For this, I do have the Diblin here. Is he gonna SD now? Nope. Just gonna knock off. I'm gonna recover off so I can wall this ogre pawn later on. But if he goes into if he goes into Iron Moth. Like he does, like he should. <laughs> I don't know what to do. At least he wasted his uh speed boost. So that's at least something. So he should like Sludge Wave here. I don't know if this pivoting is going to work here. He should actually substitute. And he goes straight for the Fiery Dance. Okay. Well, that makes sense because he it's a free setup initially. So... Um, all I can do is uh, Shadow Ball. Or I could Trick, but... This thing is too big of a threat, so I'll just go for some damage. But I lose my Scarf. And he keeps getting all these boosts. I wonder if I could bluff a... Uh, he would just stop and I'd be worse off. Yeah. He has two boosts. What if I go into Zamazenta now? Can I take a plus two sludge wave with Manaphy? I am almost max HP. Nope. Well, that answers that. Um, and I think I have to use my Terra here because he's gonna Dazzling Gleam. No! And I don't knock him out! Ugh. Disgusting. But, like, I would have gone down, so... Yeah. I think I'll just crunch here, knock him out. I do have a defense boost, but I had to use my, uh... That's Iron Defense here. I'm gonna be faster. Goes with the Ivy Cudgel. There we go. It's not really doing that much. I'm gonna boost up again so I can knock him out in one hit. Because I don't think I would have. Plus five body press though. I think that should be a KO. All right. But in comes his own Zamazenta. Are you gonna have like Ghost Terra or something? I'm plus five, so I don't care. 60%. Goes for a Stone Edge. I mean, a critical hit is a good idea. Um, now, however, there is still... Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't go into Iron Valiant, but makes me think it, it's physical. And he even has a speed boost. But it has to be physical then. Okay, Hypnosis. Interesting. And it's special with Calm Mind, and then he's gonna sweep me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. Mr. Hypnosis. <laughs> Come on. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Yes! Thank goodness. Whew. I mean, you're relying on hypnosis and a resisted move to knock me out, so like, yeah, not really the best odds for your uh, good old, uh, whatchamacallit, Iron Valiant right there, so, but yeah, I can see, it's, it is unfortunate, it is unfortunate, uh, for sure, I think that bo that match could have gone better on both ends. Ooh, Bombardier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has the uh, rocky payload, so it gets a b b boost to its uh, rock-type moves. I think I'll go with Guard Chomp. Yeah. This might be a fun game to set up some hazards. And Dragon Tail combo. 
Usually it's like I've seen it be like Steel Terra. Although in singles, that yeah, that's mostly in doubles because you get bulletproof and there's. I have to Dragon Tail. I have to Dragon Tail. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I didn't want Como back. Now he knows my gimmick. Um. Do I want to terrestrialize? There's no way he would be Fairy Terra, would he? Do you want to get greedy and even set up a Stealth Rock on him? I'll get in between. <laughs> I'll terrestrialize. In comes the Iron Mode, I'm my EQ. Is he gonna go into... Actually, that's Stealth Rock. That's Stealth Rock. I want rocks. And there's something like... Actually... <sighs> no, he's 350 base speed. And now this... Terrestrializing business... Uh, not really ideal here. Let's go into Manaphy. On the fiery dance. Thankfully, no boost. Hmm. I'm a scald here. And is this going to be. It's super effective, and I do get a burn, so that means it's unaware. There he is. Hee <laughs> hee, we're gonna have some fun. Maybe. Kinda. I'll do the skill swap business, although, like, uh, I think using the new move that this thing has, the Take Heart, which is like Calm Mind Plus, you get to heal yourself. Like, that would be kind of amazing in this situation. But, uh, is there... yeah, I, I think the Water Type move is the right move here, so... I got plus three. There we go. 73%. He's gonna go for the Earthquake. Is he gonna wanna switch out into anything? I don't think so, and I could get a burn on anything, so. The only thing that could have gone in is like Como, and you know. I could have done still like million damage to it, so yeah. So there we go, I'm happy. Manaphy's gimmick uh, kinda worked here, but now I'm gonna get destroyed by this uh, Iron Moth. So, he has to go for Sludge Wave, right? Hmm. Without any boost, is that going to knock me out? And could I go into Goldengo to take it and then go... I don't know. I don't know. He has Energy Ball. Okay. I see. Hmm. And now it's bad that I terrestrialized Garchomp. Hmm. I wonder if he's gonna have Dazzling Gleam on this one. I haven't seen anything. I don't know. I don't like it. Uh, I'm gonna go down to like Fiery Dance. Then I feel like I have to go into. He choice. 23. Oh my goodness. I'm going to Garchomp now. Goes with the parting shot. Okay, this thing gets parting shot. I didn't know that because I rarely see this Pokemon, but that, that's really cool. One of the best pivoting moves in the game. Especially on something like Incineroar. So now my attack is even lowered. So what do I do? He's kind of free to go for the fire type move, especially since uh, Manaphy is gone. And the problem is that he's just gonna just gonna keep on boosting up. So like, what do I do? I go into Honchkrow. That's a two hit KO. I go into Zamazenta. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll go into Zamasenta and I feel like I have to, like... 
52%. Oh my goodness. And he got a boost, so... Body press, plus one. 39. I think that still does more than crunch. But I don't think Goldengo can knock him out. And if Goldengo doesn't knock him out... It's fire and poison. Have to go for Shadow Ball, but it's such a weak move. 44%. And I have Hunchcrow. I... <laughs> Like, I can't do anything. I have to just go on on him, like, making a mistake and thinking I have Sucker Punch. But then again, he could just go all in with the uh, Iron Moth at this point, so... Yeah. I just terrestrialized too early, and I didn't scout my opponent well. And uh, that kind of led to my downfall in the late game. This guard shot... There we go! But Jiraji is gonna have um, U turn, right? Ooh, it's cosmic power! <laughs> so I can do some shenanigans! Right? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Set up a sub here. There we go. And then just protect so he cannot, like. There's no way he would have a U-turn there. There we go, and I think we go into little Diplin. Little Diplin here. Stored power. Eh. I wonder if I can live a sludge wave. Well, there we go. We got to do something with it. <laughs> it's perfect against gimmicks, gimmicks like that, the Hunch Crow. But other than that, like, it's bad news bears. I haven't seen, uh, revealed the, uh, dragon tail yet, so... There we go, let's use it. Oh no, he has substitute. Oh no. Well, I think that's it. Hmm. I can try Garchomp, I suppose. And he's Belly Drum. Okay, that's cool. Nice. I think I'm done for. That is really, really cool. Yeah. I was expecting the uh, Glengar Soul shenanigans, but that that's a really... And he saved it for a late game. He thought about it at the beginning, but now it makes more sense why he didn't want to set it, set it up, especially against uh, a Garchomp. But I was kind of fearing, like, the Glengar scales and stuff like that. So, yeah. But that was a that was a really fun game, and uh, Hunch Crow got to do something, so I'm really happy happy with that. Um, lead here. Does Avalok, the regular one, does it get Stealth Rock? Um, I think I'm going with my Stealth Rocker. It leads with Gengar, and Gengar is definitely a scary Pokemon. I'm gonna go straight for the uh, Earthquake here. Now I'm kind of tempted also to go for a Steel Terra again. But then I would kind of lose to... So I'm gonna play more carefully now. Because he's gonna go for an Ice-type move. I have a Manaphy here. Like, I can scout with my Pokémon. I don't need to get, like, greedy and set up spikes like I wanted last time, so... There we go. Um... Just gonna scold. Plus three, I can take a Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave. Yeah, no problem. And I do knock out the Gengar. I do get disabled, though. Hmm. And in comes Miascarada. I don't know, I have Water Terra on this just for the extra power, but perhaps a Defensive Terra could get me somewhere. I do have the Diblin. That's perfect switch into knock off or to uh, the uh, what you might call it, the grass type move that it has. But he goes with the U-turn. Nice move. Goes into Salamence. The thing that I'm scared of is definitely uh, DD. 
Do I have a good switch in? I could just Dragon Tail. I'm thinking he's gonna DD. He's gonna Fire Blast. Expecting maybe Goldengo? And now I can recover. Nice. Goes into Moltres. The worst thing that he could do is go for Hurricane, I think. Hmm. I think there's a good opportunity to go into Garchomp. I could set up uh, set up the uh, Stealth Rock here. It would help against Avalog. I don't have Knock Off. Maybe adding Knock Off on one of these Pokemon would be good. I don't think any of them learn it, though. Hmm. Go into Manaphy again, or... I'm gonna get greedy here. Set up a Spike. If Garchomp goes down, like, that's fine. Okay. It's gonna Rapid Spin, but that's gonna get a lot of damage on him. So, what I'll do is go for a Stealth Rock here. And then... Avalanche makes contact. I did not know that. Now I do. Mm. So how do I want to deal with this? He's only plus one. Also, Zamazenta is looking... Apart from the Moltres, it's looking really good. I think I'll go into Manaphy, get a little bit of a leftovers recovery while uh, taking out the Avalog. There we go. And then in comes Meowskarada. I do have the Diplin again. Um, wonder if he would knock off. He could U turn. There's the flower trick, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Um, I think it's gonna be Dragon Tail. Shuffle him a little bit. He's of course going to have the heavy duty boots, gets the flame body burn. There we go. Even intimidate. He has fire blast. It could still be like mixed DD. Hmm. This is such a good Pokemon against the uh, Nyaskarada that I don't really want to give it up. What if I go into Zemacenta now? Is he gonna be fully special? With, like Hurricane and stuff? If he DD is here, then Manaphy I think could take it. But if he goes with the Fire Blast, that's even better. Hmm. So what would he go into? I think he would have to be Umbreon. I'll get greedy here. And he goes for the Draco Meteor! Oh dear. I got greedy and it doesn't pay off, but either I'm like, yeah, speed tying or then I'm just naturally faster. I don't know. I think we both are like base 100. So I could still use this thing as a death fodder. He should U-turn. I'll still go into Diplin. Hmm. I mean, I could still set up on the Moltres. And I also have Fire Terra. So that's something I could still do. Use Zemacenta, just Fire Terra, and just Brute Force my true. And that would also help against Miascarada. So he cannot touch me. I think that's what I'll... Okay. Looks like he probably is gonna just U-turn out of the game. Or not. Okay. Yeah, I, I think with Moltres, he definitely still has a chance. Uh, I'll try to recover if I can. Goes for the Burning Jealousy. It gets... It burns you if you get a stat boost during that turn, right? Really good move on doubles. Pretty good in singles, too. Um, 
So Diplin can, again, wall the uh, Miascarada, which is great. Um, do I just want to go... I'll go into Mana Fee... Potentially sack it. Oh, dear. Ancient power. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no. Do not get a boost. Um... I hope I can take him out from this range. With a Shadow Ball? No, I don't! Ah, oh. Goldengo is so weak. But I take out the Moltres, so I, I, I think we got this. Yeah... I think I can sack even. Why not? Sack Goldengo and just go straight into... Uh, Zamazenta. Goes for the Night Slash. Interesting. Uh, another high crit chance move. Um, well, if he's choice, well, I would be faster, so I don't even really care. I think I can 2 hit KO Umbreon without any other boost. Yeah, 79%. Fairy Terra, not gonna save you there. And that's the game! All right, all right, all right. We'll look for one more match. Ooh. There's an opposing Diplin. Ursaluna is scary. And King Gambit too. Yeah, Garchomp is my lead of choice. Hmm. Well, there's no way to stop the... Um, Cinderace from core changing, so uh, that's my biggest issue. So perhaps just uh, play carefully. Guard jump is, you know, it hits hard and uh, can do some shenanigans. So I think if he terrestrializes, that wouldn't be the biggest issue. I could just earthquake him. How much would he do? Oh, earthquake. There we go. Looks to be a solid 2 KO. If he's gonna go for the Ivy Cultural, that's a rock type move, so that's not gonna knock me out. But Power Whip probably would. So then what I could do. I wanna go directly into Goldango. Can I take a Power Whip? Would he knock off in a situation like this? I just don't know the moves yet. Horn Leech. Okay. I see. There we go. Probably should have gone for the Dragon Tail. We force him out. What is he gonna do now? He could just knock off. No. I don't wanna go into Goldengo. I don't wanna go into Goldengo. Because I am not sure what he's going to do. And he lives just barely. Do you have anything that's faster? I do have Zamazenta, but that would uh, use up the boost, so... Don't want to do that. So just Shadow Ball here, take out the Ogre Pwn. Okay. So I'm not going to get hazards, but like, put the Cinderace around. Maybe that's not the greatest idea to begin with. So going to Diplin here, we'll see if we see a Calm Mind. Should be able to take it unless it's like sub calm mind or something crazy like that. I'm a dragon tail you out of here. <laughs> well, at least he cannot use it again. What if I sear a bomb? But he has a boost, so like I don't want to do that. Okay, might be able to heal depending what he has. And he has a Terra Blast, and he's faster, and he's Life Orb, so... I see. I see. Hmm. Actually, my Zamazenta is looking... I think it's looking really good. Could also go into Mana Fee and Ice Beam. I'm just wondering, like... Hmm... I want to go into Honchkrow, but he seems to be like more offensive. So what if I go into Zamazenta? 
And just maybe set up a substitute? On this little apple. I'll do it. It's like... I don't know what else he's, is he gonna have. Ideally, he goes for Draco Meteor. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. So, go for one more here. As he goes into Ursa Luna. Uh, Hyper Voice. Yeah, that does go through a sob. But I don't think that's gonna be enough to knock me out. Well, Iron Defense here. Okay, yeah, he doesn't even have it. Yeah, it's more of a move in the uh, doubles. So, do one sub again? Is he gonna have a weird Terra? Hmm. I'm gonna body press. Ah, oh, he's gonna have the Ghost Terra. Ah, that's the worst. That's the worst. Oh my goodness. If I go into Honchkrow... No. Blood Moon. Ursaluna. Oh man. I should have stopped there to scout, but like, what else would I do? Then, like, I have to go into Goldengo and stuff. And now he's gonna probably knock me out. Ooh, I get a crit here. Okay, that was totally not deserved. As in comes the Sneasler. Hmm. Skull. Is he gonna get something? He doesn't. And I do get a burn. Oh, that's nasty. Everything is going according to plan. He made all the right moves, but I reap the benefits. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. In comes Cinderace, and I don't think that's gonna be enough for him. Because of the high jump kick, he does get stabbed for it. There we go. And he does still live. Hmm. Is he gonna go for it again? I'm gonna go into Goldengo. He could just switch up, but he could just... Because I'm, I'm thinking Pyroball does not knock out Manaphy from that range. And then something fun that I could do is trick this King Gambit into a Kowtow Cleave. And I do have Honchcrow with Perisong. Yes! 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 <laughs> Fairy Song, Haunch Crow for the win. I can protect, I can sack the Banafi. Yes, 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 this is perfect. Excellent. And that will be the game. I'm so happy. We got to have some really fun games today. Got to use these sets that I didn't get to use last time. I think Golden Go, I mean, I didn't really get to set up hazards like I, I planned, but uh, Honchkrow got to do some peristrapping shenanigans and uh, Manaphy got even to use skill swap and uh, tail go too, so that was really cool. I am really interested in trying out that take caught move because you could he cure your uh, status. Might be better even on a, uh, a set like this perhaps but I just like the initial power and uh, that's why I went with tail glow today. But anyways, I am rambling as usual, so I thank you very much for watching, and until next time, this is Spade, rambling and signing out. Peace.